Hello friends, and welcome back for some more Legio X. So the big news came, the big day came, where my wife was nine months pregnant. Was. Past tense here, because our daughter was finally born over the weekend, and we have been having a good time welcoming her into our home. And man, it is amazing. It has been a lot of fun, and she's been treating us very, very well, so it's been great. It has been great. And at the moment, they're both, they're both sound asleep, which is good. And I found this kind of opportunity to jump back into Battle Brothers. So let's do this. The last time we left off, I think I was on my way to the south, and... Yeah, to finish our our uh, ambition, we also have to head over to Dustermark. So I think my plan is I'm going to just follow this road, take a boat over here, and then take a boat out of here. Instead of kind of wandering the desert, I'm, I'm kind of iffy in the desert and legends, and it's uh, it can be kind of scary place. <laughs> so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to follow the roads this time. And just um, just take my time getting through here. All we have to do really is just walk through the places. But if we can find a contract, if we can find some enemies, we'll certainly take them on. But before we leave Lemberg, we do need to purchase up some gear. I saw we're low on money, but because I have the uh, the quality wood, we'll be able to sell this probably in the south and make some good money off of it. So I'm gonna get some ammunition. Ammo's pretty cheap here. Let's get a couple stacks. And sure, let's pick up a stack of tools and supplies. Sure, yeah. Uh, maybe a little too much pushing it there, but I think my deal is I'm gonna fix these up. The heavy Southern mace and the scrimmage ax and I'm just going to sell them off to try and make a bit more money. I don't think I'm going to be putting these to use, certainly not right away. I think everybody's kind of found their their rhythm in the weapon that they're using. And what we'll do is just... Um, we'll sell these off. If we, if we want to get into it, we'll just find them later and either purchase them or get them from, from another, uh, another fight. Okay. So... Let's head south. Tournament. And I'm definitely going to be passing out. <laughs> passing by the tournament. I don't think we're in a good place for a tournament. Uh, but they've got a couple contracts. And let's see about selling. 230? 230 is not bad. Let's do that. And these, sure. There we go. We're back over a thousand. Not too bad. Prices here are not great for purchasing. Except, you know, I've been thinking about Boudica, right? Oh, and she's leveled up. And I've been I've been thinking about Boudica. What do we what do we want to do with her? And my, my thought is we really need to be getting some phalanx, or not phalanx, we, we want to add to our phalanx by putting some pole arms out. And we don't have any other pole arms other than our banner, of course. So I think Boudica is definitely going to take, like, bolster. And where's the other one? Uh, leverage. So you, when using two-handed weapons... Attack at attacks at two tiles range have 20% chance to hit the head. Does not apply to attacks at range of one tile. Right, so I think these would be good. We can also, I guess when I take, if I take like leverage or bolster now, then I could go for intimidate. Attacks from pole arms hit or miss, reduce the resolve of the target by 10% of your melee skill. So that'd be about six. Multiple attacks from different sources stack, but 
from the same source does not. So we can attack once with our polearm here. Somebody else can use Intimidate as well. Interesting. But if she swings twice, which would be a difficult thing to do with a two-handed polearm, unless I'm missing something here. Huh. Okay, well, anyway, I think that's what I'm going to do. And I see that here with a war fork. Is this something we want to go for now? It costs 400. It costs 400. We've got 400. So let's do that. So I'm going to drop this and probably just going to do this. You know, honestly, let's do that. I don't think we really need any more throwing weapons. I don't want to burn through the ammunition too quickly here. And we have a lot of ammunition we burn through every time. So let's uh, let's do it this way. And now this means I will be taking uh, melee skill with her on these plus three chances. That's definitely a good, or plus three rolls. I also like the idea of range defense for my back line but it's not necessary. Initiative, I like initiative for, for pole arms so that once we're you know stuck in with the front line, if the pole arms can do a lot of work, then the front line can just kind of shield up while the back line does uh, quite a bit of damage. And then when it gets the front line turn, you know, they can finish enemies off or push them back, throw in, throw out ammunition again. So I, I do like the idea of initiative. I'm not so sure I care too much about her, uh, about her hit points anymore. She's already taken Colossus, so I can let this go. Maybe I'll pass up when I get like a, if I get a one on melee skill, maybe I'll just grab some more hit points, something like that. But let's keep going with this. I like this. Okay. And I think, what was Bolster again? When wielding a polearm, increase the resolve of adjacent allies by 5% of your melee skill. So that would be 3 at this time. Uh, if multiple polearm users with, with this perk are present, only the highest bonus applies. So, I mean, this is good. I think I'm more interested in leverage at this time. If we can be taking enemies out with headshots, right? So let's use let's use this leverage. And what was the other one for intimidate? Hit or miss resolve uh, reduces the resolve of the target by ten percent. I like this idea. It might it might be better for now because it's a ten percent of melee skill instead of five percent of your melee. If this looks like how can we see? Yeah, we can go up to 69 or 83. Obviously, 83 would be pretty nice. I don't think 69 is possible at this time, but maybe this is dynamic. I'm not sure if it's 69 to 83 from the very beginning or if it changes due to what's going on with her level ups. But yeah, let's let's go for Intimidate. Reducing their resolve is, is a good thing. And then we'll we'll take bolster eventually. Yeah. But increasing our resolve is not as important right away due to I mean we're only on day 30 something. But uh, as this increases, you know, uh, over 7 closer to 80, I hope, but I'm not sure then uh, bolster will be more important later. Cool. And I've been thinking this is not this actually goes this way. So we want to be in the middle of our front line. So we'll do something like this. You'll be here, here, and here. Okay. Okay. So, that's good. I'm excited. Boudica can finally... Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that too. Boudica can finally actually do something. I think she was being helpful, but I think with a, with a polearm, it's going to increase her chances of actually hitting instead of with a uh, with an axe 
Three days to the don't care, and 1,400 uh, creatures. No. What about anything for hire for really cheap? What's this? A muladi. What is a muladi? A muladi is a custom to the south, although not entirely accepted by the locals. What are you? The, well, I like that it actually says the the Kian, I assume is how you pronounce that, not sure. The Kian is a slave, seductive and knowledgeable. The alchemist, I assume, I assume you're an alchemist. So yeah, crafting is quite good. Man, I would love to pick up some of these things. Uh, I'm not sure if, like what, what does this actually do? Khadija caught your eye during a festival held on a street corner. Her singing voice was the most serene thing you had ever heard, yet the chains of slave masters rattled and clattered, masking her falsettos. She also goes into great depth about how she killed each and every one of them with mundane objects like incense sticks, candles, and even her own clothes. Hmm... While you are no expert, you do recognize at least two types that could kill a donkey in just a few bites. Either a political captive or perhaps a recently learned woman. Khadija can sit down with anyone and explain how to effectively, silently, and efficiently kill any man with nothing but a scrap of metal and the element of surprise. Very intriguing very very intriguing I don't really have the money to do this so I apologize uh, Khadija and Thashim I don't really even want to purchase just a beggar either alright so we're gonna be out of here but the, there's some really cool backgrounds I'm really digging that let's, let's get out of here though so yeah gonna head to Al Hasif and then what we'll do is just take a boat over to Kabira. It'll be expensive, but it'll at least get rid of this ambition. And I don't really feel like running over here. Oh, I guess I would have to take a boat all the way back then, wouldn't I? <laughs> let's, uh, let's do it that way, now that I think about it. Okay, a lone merchant approaches with a wagon pulled by a camel. I assume you're selling 50 crowns per jug. Take all of them? We'll just take one. 50 crowns? Get some people in, in some good spirit and eager. How refreshing. Yeah, I was I wasn't un, I was unsure how much money we had. But yeah, we'll take we'll take a boat from Kabira. That sounds like a better idea. Over to Al Hasif, and then from Al Hasif we can either just run up here. Or take a boat. Maybe I'll just end up taking a boat over to hit. maybe a camp fodder. We can kind of do a little bit of marching around. We'll see. We'll see. Many Ifrits. How would they feel about us? Oh, and this too. A leader, archers, slinger, outlaw, cutthroats. Let's let's stay away from them. Uh, they're, okay, they turned around. Devoured settlement. That does not sound like a place I want to hit up. Uh, man, many Ifrits. We could probably take them on. My problem here is things like swords and the spear, the arrows. You know, these things aren't that good against them. We would want to have some pretty heavy, uh, heavy hitting, like, Heavy hitting weapons or heavy er embalmed slaves embalms oh my goodness <laughs> we're out of here we are out of here yeah for Ifrit's it's really good to have blunt weapons and axes are good too I guess but 
I'm not really outfitted for something like that. Slave Revolt. Now that could be something we can deal with. 810 to go against what? Please take this. Indebted and Master of Light. Beat down the uprising of slaves in the incense dryer near Kabira. Now this could be... This could be doable. I'm just... I'm not digging the fight at night thing. If I wait until daylight, will it be bad? Time to get moving. Okay. You get to... Ugh. Oh. So we have to go find them? It's only eight indebted, but they're way over there. This is, yeah, this is one of the problems with one of these, but all we have to do is just get to them. There's only eight of them? That seems, and they're coming right, f whoa, no, no, no. They're coming right for us. A leader? Huh. A cutthroat, a few slingers, some archers, and a leader. I was under the impression it was just going to be some some indebted. Some archers and a few slingers and indebted. Uh, sorry, there's no indebted in this at all. I mean, I don't care about you. These archers can be pretty devastating. I don't care about the slingers either, but... Well, let's... Wait. Oh, what the... Galib the Living Mirage. here, Arminius. And I'm just gonna bring this up. You're not gonna hit anything, are you? i really like to actually kill this guy, because he doesn't have anything on. Alright, move up here. Yeah, these archers. Somehow they are hidden. Wait. <laughs> he hit that one too. Good. Good work. Okay. Up here. That'll do it. Let's not be too hasty, right? Let's do that. At least wait there for a moment. Pantheon, shield up. Okay. Whoops. Let's uh, let's let's duck out of here with Lucius. Hey, one down. Yeah. 
Gotta love that. Uh, just end, end your turn. Can he actually... can he do that? Good hit. No. Okay. I really, really need to take care of you and this while just trying to get this guy to not kill us in the process. Oof! Turnus! Oh, you've got a crushed windpipe. Eyes up. This character is being barraged by attacks coming from high, up high. Huh, okay. Uh, wait, wait. Now, should I just do something like this with Eric? I kind of want to. I kind of, I kind of do want to. Oh, this is going to take some time with you. Lyris is going up in there too. Alright. Can we hide you? Alright guys. Hold. turn and Arminius switch and head in. That will help our chances. Wait. Good work. Now I kind of Hmm. Let's just go. I think you should be okay. I'm gonna... Oh, you're already out? Nice, Eric! We're getting through it. Uh, wait. Wait. Ooh, it looks like he's getting tired. There we go. And now come back. Oh, you're up here. <laughs> I get you two mixed up. You guys have quite the, uh, the, the same stuff. Good work. Okay. I'm more interested in killing you at this time. And we're not going to get, like, anything. Oh! I did not see this going that way. Wow. Good work. Maybe I should be a little bit more confident about... about, uh, about our guys. We're doing great. I should feel a little bit better about our situation, I guess. Uh, I mean, we're, we're taking hits, and maybe we got lucky with that, um, with the, the leader. But, loot. Hey, a two-handed scimitar. 
we've got a scythe. I'll probably put that to use. And a composite bow. I'll think about that. And that. And that. And that. Okay. Wow. I shouldn't have run like a little chicken, I guess. We should have been a little bit happier about that situation. Or, or uh, confident about that situation. Kabir is no longer a slave revolt. You're welcome. And this one is, I think, probably going to be drive-off nomads for 1600 I'm going to decline that one. Let's check out the gear that we just picked up and then think about what we're going to do. Here we go. Rip this apart. All right, so this is the gear that we're kind of left with. And... I'm not I'm not interested in this at the moment, but I'm not going to sell it off yet. Uh, I'm not sure what to do with it yet because yeah, it would be great if we find like a southern brother. Let's throw this on them. He can be an auxiliary. Hey, I've I've got the whole story right here. Let's fix it up. But I'm not going to put it to use right away. The Saif the scythe is something I am going to put to use, but I'm wondering how this works. So let's take a look at it real quick. I mean, it's a normal slash, and it's a normal gash. The only... Oh. Uh, the the thing is, is with the slash on, the, uh, the cruel falchion is cheaper. It's 3 AP, and this is 4 AP. So I'd be able to swing, you know, we've had this conversation before. We can swing this three times, we can only swing this two times. Uh, that said, swinging this three times costs 24 fatigue, and this twice would be 20 fatigue. So we'll be getting tireder with the Cruel Falchion than we would with the Scythe. Uh, then we're only getting two chances with this, I think. Let's uh, let's see who has a lot of um, a lot of fatigue, and then we can figure out maybe someone can use it, some others won't. Uh, the militia spear is going to be staying with Pantheon for sure. Really, the the most fatigue we have on the front line at the moment is Arminius. And he has the short sword versus, so it's 35 to 40, 30 to 40, 20, 75, 20, 65. So we'll, we'll throw that on to, uh, we'll give that to, to Arminius. Scythe for Arminius. Okay, that leaves a short sword. I think I'm cool with everybody else. We'll fix that up, we'll sell it off. Next we have these Southern Light Hoods. Now they're very light for 50 durability. So I think I'm going to be putting this on some people. Blackus should be one of them. That That's actually an upgrade, so we'll, we'll get rid of that. Yeah, let's give this to service. Why not? This thing is uh, pretty ugly. Let's rip this one apart, I think. Um, right, my next question is this composite bow. Now, the difference between these two is... I mean, the, the big difference is that um, this one does a bit more damage, but it's less range. And it has more fatigue loss. Now, that's okay for now. I'm not too worried about that. This is kind of the better weapon except that the range is lower is the problem but because we have range supremacy we also get plus one to our bows so i'm going to use this instead this is going to be the better weapon the problem here is because we're starting on the third line instead of on the second line uh with him that is um he's not gonna be able to reach their back line now is that a big problem not really so we're just gonna we're just gonna go with it but i i like this bow is going to be better and because we have that plus one to to uh, range we'll be able to reach their front line at least 
Uh, I will eventually just move up and put everyone kind of in their in their place. I'm just trying to figure out what that place is. And since I have the lower numbers at the moment, this is kind of the way I like to play with Legends. I like that we're given the opportunity, the, the option to choose a, th a third line on where we're going to be standing. And because we're given that choice, that option, I like to take advantage of it where I can. Let's fix that up. Now this Southern Gambeson is just like the Northern Gambeson. Let's see, do we have one? Yeah, we've got one right there. So the Gambeson, it's 65 and eight, 65 and eight. So does anybody on the front line that doesn't have a, a Gambeson at all? Um, Valerius Sidious does, so Arminius and Fronto do not. But I think I'm going to give that to to Fronto. Because he's on the corner, I like to protect my corners. That's good. Looks a little ridiculous for now, but we'll fix that. Uh, next, this and this. Now this just gives an extra 10. I kind of think that this should just go to you. Oh, you can have... They both say three, and then one can go on to four. I think it used to be three. Like, one, two, three, three, and then R. Uh, or rune. And then it depends on which one you put. Yeah. Well, we'll do it like this. It covers it up a little bit. But... The problem here, you can kind of see, uh, it's kind of a strange thing. I'm not sure how I, how I, how it's working, but it looks like if you put this onto four, because it's a four layer, and this is going onto the fourth layer, that it's not actually adding to the head armor, because this plus this is ten. Uh, they're both ten each, so it should be sixty. Uh, so now we have this. And what should we do with it? Um, 80, 60, I think Fronto, because he's on the corner again. Let's protect his head. Yeah, so we'll give this to Fronto. Oh, that looks so good. So good. So we've got our two corners here. Eric and Fronto a bit more stable. Uh, and then uh, some upgrades for Lucius Septimus Service. We also have this. So I think I'll do that. That looks better. Okay. We'll tear this apart. And that will do it. Onward. Prices for gear is not that great. Yeah, those are super expensive. Uh, let's be on our way. Ooh, I, I didn't want to sell that off, but too late. All right, we're out of here. I'm going to take this over to Al Hasif for 270. That puts us in all of the locations in the south now for our ambition. So all we have to do is head up to Dustermark and we'll be good. Uh, what would be the best way to do it? Well, we can kind of make our way through the emptiness to Grothen, Grothen Haven, and maybe try to find some work up the way, or we take a boat to Kampenvater, find some work along the way as well. I like the idea of maybe we'll sneak through here. Let's see what their contracts are. Get some work while we're down here. Drive off the nomads at Crimson Tents east of Al Hasif. Now, that sounds like a good idea, but before we do that, we're pretty rough. Yeah, we've got. Oh man, Blackest was really close. So let's. Let's camp. Ah, right. We could take this contract because... Yeah, we'll accept the contract. We'll go do it. But before we go over there, we'll camp. 
I think it's worth pulling somebody out of the salvage tent for this. We'll put Turnus in there. Good. Our health points are still really low, though. Uh, have a crown? Sh sure. Maybe we can make use of this woman. We've spent a crown. I don't actually know what she was doing. She's a dancer, apparently. Okay. <laughs> Ah, an admirer. Sorry, only one show tonight, good stranger. Oh, is this the belly dancer? 500 crowns to join us. I don't think I have the money for this. I really wish I could see how much money I have. Let's, let's do it. Okay, welcome to the company. Sajida, the belly dancer. Three stars in melee defense. Two in range skill. Wonderful. And an initiative star. She also has... Uh, is that a she? Really, no. She also has dexterous. Five more melee skill. Ten for hit points for tough. And she does not like the undead. Uh, well, I mean, something like that. We'll just put her back here. Give her... Oh, am I fixing this? No, I'm tearing it apart. There you go. Okay. We'll do something like this for now and just see how it goes. Uh, oh, but I do want to put her... Let's put her to work. Yeah, I bet you're euphoric. Cool. Uh, time to get oh, back to camp. Let's put her in the healing tent. What else would she do? Just barter. So we'll just put her here to help out with healing. I don't know if this actually does much for reducing the uh, healing time. It just says 1%. But I think that's more for injuries, actual injuries, not just health points. Let's keep camping. Okay, it's over here. And we'll move on now. Time to get moving. Seven Serpents. New. Oh, come on. And eight hyena. This is why I don't like the south. <laughs> and eight nomads. Good luck, people. It looks like the hyenas made it out of there. I don't know if they would actually fight the serpents, too. Okay, many cutthroats and a slinger. Doable. But it's going to be difficult getting back there unfazed. Uh, just a couple shields. We have ways of getting around shields. Yeah, so we, we can't go for their back line. Uh, and the problem with this is the thing with this was we get extra chances to hit the uh, ranged enemies. So let's see them move up and then we'll, we'll see about attacking them. Um, yeah, same with you.
I forgot that can swing twice. That's good. That's great. You are you're doing a good job blocking, but it's kind of pointless. Uh, we'll just sneak a couple into there. Oh, that's right, I picked up... Where is it? Opportunist? No. Uh, momentum. No. What's the, what's the one that I just picked up? Is it this one? Opportunist, right? Every time you stand... Yeah, 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 that's why I just picked up some more... I was like, what? What just happened here? Uh, but that's really good. That is really fun. Let's just make the switch here. And actually, I picked up some ammo with it, too, which is great. I'm going to knock back. That's not what I wanted to do. Hold it, guys. Hold it. Hold! These aren't good chances! <laughs> there we go. You saved them, Turnus. Well done. <laughs> Eric. They do not like Eric. Yeah, go get him, Pantheon. Well, she's, uh, she's holding it together. That's good. She's definitely welcome. If I can get, like, this helmet, that would be pretty wonderful. Pronto and service with level ups and cool nice picked up another one of those salt some money eh that's good it's good good stuff whatever we don't want to use we can of course tear it down and find another use for it uh, I don't know what happened to those snakes the serpents and the hyenas are on the prowl so let's be careful. I guess what we can do before this. Fronto. Up to level 6. And we can reach this tier now. Uh, the 5th tier. Opportunist. Ah, that's the one that, uh, that we've got on Flaccus, right? Correct. Is that something we want to go for immediately? I don't know. Whenever you are attacked, hit, or miss, gain a stacking 5 initiative and 5 reduction to the fatigue cost of skills during your next turn, up to a maximum of 25-25, respectively. That sounds pretty cool. Um, net repair could be good, too, because we've got those two nets, but I don't really, I don't really have anybody for nets at the moment, right? I might just get rid of them, but it could be good 
to be able to fix those nets up. Fronto necessarily the best option for that at this moment? No. But we can think about that. Throwing mastery. Freedom of movement could be an interesting thing for Fronto since we've already gone for dodge. We get the 10% of your maximum fatigue after gear. So that would be another seven, but it only it's only good for up to 15 fatigue. After that, it gets a little bit less useful. 19 and three. So probably not a good option for him. I do want to continue going for this. Maybe he wasn't the best option for this gear. Starting to hear your cries. You're saying, don't do that. I will take the three in melee skill. I'm happy with that. I will go into initiative. I'm thinking hit points, though. Let's go for hit points. I'm going to rethink about this. Maybe we don't want Marcus on the corner anymore. Arminius would probably be the better choice let's just let's just do that right let's put our heavy armor on the outside right so let's well we just picked this up too but i'm going to fix this situation real quick uh we want to do something like this probably instead yeah let's do something like this for fronto for his head that's not a it's not great though. It would be good to be able to increase that a little bit more, but it does increase his initiative too. Uh, I guess not by much though, does it? I also want to drop these. That helps a little bit more. Let's make sure that you Arminius have the better gear. That was 25. What was this? 30 and 2. Maybe we do something like that with Fronto instead. Um, instead of... Yeah, let's do this. That does bring down his... Yeah, it does bring it down by quite a bit. That's 20. But it's also giving him more and more initiative. And I think that's where we need to be. A little less in armor and more in initiative. That's going to help out his dodge, which is more important with him right now. Uh, we could also... Yeah, he doesn't actually have bags and belts. I was going to say that would be a really good one. Then we can give him some more javelins. Or maybe give him uh, the throwing spear, for instance. And then he can pull out a weapon as uh, if, he did, if he's not able to use those anymore. So... So, I mean, freedom of movement looks pretty interesting. Where are we now? 13, and that's 14. So, it's 10% of your maximum fatigue after gear. Yeah, let's do that. Let's keep going for more and more defenses. 55 defense now. I like it. I think that's good. I'm probably, I'm thinking about this rush into battle to give him more initiative. And then it reduces the fatigue cost of his skills for the next turn. So high melee defense. I'm thinking like miss, miss, maybe miss two, three, four times if they're really pressing for him. And that's going to give him better initiative and less fatigue cost for his next turn. Which is, in turn, also that positive feedback, potentially, I think, if I'm reading this correctly, that's going to help his defenses out, too. I like that. That looks like a good one for Marcus Fronto. Cool. All right. Is that anybody? Oh, yeah. Lucius Service. What would be a... Oh, bow. Eyes up. Rain down arrows upon your enemies from a higher angle, forcing them to divert their attention. When using bows, every attack, hit, or miss applies a stacking debuff on the target, reducing their melee skill and range skill by 5, 
and made uh, melee defense by three can stack up to ten times well I like that but it's gonna be much better with more than one <laughs> I think having two three four five enemies or uh, Rangers with eyes up would be really good but maybe we just maybe we go for it anyway I mean, we're probably eventually going to take it so we might as well just take it this could be a good thing for him too just increases the oh no it's it's going to be melee skill and melee defenses oh it's actually melee skill as well I didn't see that nice that's awesome that's really good. Okay. Let's, yeah, let's still, let's go for eyes up, though. And we'll just have to make multiple attacks with it. The, I guess the problem is, or the, the counter to it is range supremacy. This is good for attacking enemies, uh, ranged enemies at range. This is probably better at attacking uh, melee enemies at range because it's reducing melee defense and melee skill. Although it's also reducing the range skill too, so it'll, it'll work good together. Both for melee and defense, or for attack and defense, right? We have better chances of increase or uh, better chances of hitting with this against ranged enemies, and this is just debuffing them if we're hitting or missing. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, I mean that's gonna be. I think both of them are gonna be good anyway, right? Um, four for sure. We'll take the three in range defense, and I will take the initiative as well. Sure. Sure, sure. Now, yeah, those are... Those are exciting. I don't want to fight seven serpents. Do they even see us, and are they fighting? It looks like they were rain running away now. If that's the case, that'd be good. There are still hyenas on the prowl. And <laughs> lindworms. All right, it looks like nobody wants to fight anybody around here. Everyone's pretty indifferent, including me. I don't want to fight anybody. Wow. Yeah, those are the hyenas. They actually went all the way around like that. It's crazy. I mean, maybe the hyenas we could take on, right? We could probably take on those hyenas. Eight hyenas. I don't have the time for it tonight, though. I don't have the time for it tonight. Uh, Taxidermist, still nothing. Oh. I totally... Uh, well, okay. Like, I guess I can ask for forgiveness here. Um, I forgot. This is like the fifth time that I've wanted to do it, and I've forgotten every time, and somebody even in the last time, in the last episode, said, Hey... What about the Legion colors? Yes, thank you for the <laughs> reminder. And then I totally forgot again. So, uh, we have one, two, three hundred. I'm going to do it because I'm going to forget. But Pantheon, what we can do is paint these. The problem is that, and uh, maybe not the problem, but the thing is that we have to pay 50 gold for each one. I'm going to do it because I like the idea. It's thematic. I'm the thematic type, not you though, of player. And we want to look the part, don't we? So let's look the part. There we go. Okay. Yeah, that was 300. Maybe a little expensive. Maybe I shouldn't have done that right now, but uh, hey, I'm going to forget 
and I'm going to do it eventually. Let's just get it over with. 176 crowns per day. So we have three more days. And if I took a boat, that would probably be too much. Let's see what this one is. Beasts. <laughs> Maybe it's even those. Um, I'm going to have to think about this. I'm probably not going to do that, but maybe fight these hyenas in the next episode at the beginning. Run out of time, and I want to catch up on some more sleep. So, I think that was a, a good start for our comeback at Legio X. I hope you enjoyed it. You can let me know by leaving a like or a comment. If you're feeling ultra generous, you can follow the link in the description to buy me a coffee. And with that, Thanks for stopping by, and I hope to see you next time.